Hello guys, Andy here, Ken Survival. How's it going? Um, first proper video where I've uh, got to talk to you since uh, Christmas New Year really. Uh, recently put out the uh, Nunhead Cemetery video but I'd recorded that footage uh, before Christmas. Uh, had a bit of a break you might say. Have been out camping but um, wasn't filmed, it was just with friends. It's like a little Christmas meet up. Um, yeah, so welcome back. Uh, Happy New Year everyone. Um, you may notice since my Christmas camp out video that uh, I've been working on this. I've been up here a couple of times, not filming, just getting some work done. Um, just enjoying being out really um, while I had some time off. Um, so I'll run through some of that in a minute. Um, I bought myself a Christmas present. I got myself an L.L. Bean Continental rucksack. Um, it's not the biggest thing ever, but um, I've been using it as a bit of a day pack so far. Um, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Um, not going to review it, I don't think, but um, it is a very nice pack. They do a um, wax canvas one as well, which is the one I really wanted, but this one's like half the price. So, yeah, it was that one as it was a treat for myself. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll run through some of uh, what I've done here. I'm going to do a little bit more to it today, maybe cook up some grub as well, a little lunch. And, um, yes, we'll uh, have a nice little day out. So as you can see here, I've um, been doing the front walls here, kind of where they come in from the sides. Uh, started on that side as well. I've not gone right up to the uh, top yet with anything, um, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. And we've got the kind of doorway there, which I'm undecided on what I'm going to be doing with as yet. Also um, cut out a bit of a uh, tarp. It's um, not going to be the permanent roof, I think. It's just for now because we've got bad weather coming in. As you can see, it's started cooling down a bit now and they keep saying there's snow on its way, so I thought I'd get something on there. Um, I'll show you around the back there as well. And as you can see, I've uh, been putting debris on the top there, moss and, and leaves and stuff. Um, this is all tied down, just need to tie, tidy it all up. Um, that's just to kind of disguise it really. It will provide some insulation because I'm going to chink the walls. Um, I've already started down here with some jute rope. Um, there's no clay up here or anything, so I thought I'd just do this. Um, and uh, yeah, next time I'm up here, I've got a wood burning stove that I'd like to bring. So I'll be putting a bit of a kind of stove jack in the roof and um, should be pretty cozy if it does get cold. This is how the lean to currently looks. Um, one wall completely down. Yeah, the um, fire reflector or outer walls down. Been taking some materials from it, um, stripped the bed. So I've just got the two long pieces for the bed left. And um, I've still got my little wood store there, which I'll uh, build a new one on this new shelter. So I've uh, got some dry wood now that the bad weather's coming. And I will tidy this up. <laughs> Here we have the inside of the shelter. Um, it's not the most spacious thing in the world. You could fit two people in here, but you wouldn't fit much Chelsea in here, to be honest. Um, obviously more headroom at the front than the back, but I sleep at the back as I did over Christmas, so uh, that's not too much of an issue. Um, I'll probably put a slight raised bed in here eventually as well. Um, and in the corner over there is where the, um, the stove will go when I bring it up. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy so far. It's a nice sturdy structure. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, just need to make a few finishing bits so it's uh, ready for the winter.
going to prep some wood for the bush box. Um, I can't find my mallet I made not too long ago. So uh, back to the old one. So much wood around here at the moment. Branches and stuff. Just break this down a bit. It's quite damp today. Just some uh, good old birch bark today to get the push box going. Just scrape that up a little bit. So much birch around here, can't not use it really. Got the fire lay ready here, just some sticks that were quite drying off the ground, some more birch bark and this battened, uh, I think it's ash. There's some smaller bits there as well, nice and bone dry. It's out of the wood store. Probably could have done a bit more scraping than that to be honest, but I'm sure it'd be all right. There would be a helicopter going over just as I'm filming. I do also have some of that battened ash down at the uh, bottom of here as well. Helps create coals. I'm just going to be using the mini skillet that you've seen me use before. I've done a video on that if you've missed it, but uh, I think they sold out. And I'm just going to do a ham and cheese toasty. So I've just got some uh, cheddar here, mature cheddar. Mm. Got some nice ham to go in there as well. So I get the grill on heating up. There you can see how perfectly that fits on there, and the handle comes off so you don't have to. Uh, touch any hot handles and I've got some butter just to go on the outside here try not to tear it up too much butter's quite cold
never actually tried this before, so we'll see how it turns out. I've actually preheated the little uh, skillet pan so I can kind of cap it over if I kind of want to. But I'll probably wait till I turn it. I'll try and get this turned over now. Good for me. Well, let's have a look at how we did. Yes, I know I'm using the knife on cast iron. I'm being very gentle here. <laughs> As people like to uh, point things out. Ooh, quite well done on the bottom, but yeah, it looks pretty good to me. This is the jute rope I've got. Um, I think it's eight millimeter, I think, it's the one I bought. Might get a couple of varying thicknesses for the uh, different sized gaps to chink. Um, but the one bit I've done seems to be okay. It could do have been pinned, but it's not really something I want to do out here. So I'll try and get it so it's just gripped between. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more than this, I think, but it's, uh, it's actually pretty cheap. Well, I'm just winding down here now. I've done a few things I wanted to, kind of reinforced the roof and disguised it a bit more, uh, covered that in debris. Uh, a few other bits strengthened. Um, this wall's pretty much done. This one just needs a couple more in it. Uh, just getting there, did a little bit of that chinking. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, we'll see. We'll see. Um, a lot of this shelter's been done with um, this kind of small bank line 
micro cord type stuff. I uh, forget exactly what it's called, it's like nylon cordage. Um, goes a long way, it's very strong, it does hurt your hands, so the gloves are good. But yeah, I've been using that for a lot of this build. Um, and the reason I say this roof could be temporary is because I've bought myself a throw. Um, no handle, I can make a handle up here for it. And I'd like to uh, do some shingles for it, some shakes, shingles, uh, like radial ones around a log. Um, it's going to be quite a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of time, so that's why I wanted to get this up because they keep saying snow's on the way and all that, so I thought if I get this on, I don't know what time I'll get up here. Uh, so that's the reason for that. So yeah, sorry it's not been a, a camping video today. I wanted to get up, but work obligations and everything, it's, uh, it's just not been possible. Um, going to get up here as soon as possible and do an overnighter. Really looking forward to it now. I can come up, finish off all the walls and everything. Um, bring the stove, uh, build up a new fire reflector, you probably noticed I took that one down. i um, going to use some of the old one and have a much bigger one here for a nice fireplace. And uh, yes, quite looking forward to it. Should uh, get a few camps out of this, hopefully we'll get some snow and see how it holds up in that and how cosy I can get in it. Um, hopefully be able to do a uh, little raised bed in there as well because it's not perfectly flat. I thought I had got it flat but it's not quite there. Um, yeah, but that's that's me for today really. Um, didn't get as much done as I wanted because <laughs> it's cooking and filming, you know how it is. That's why I came up here. The other times without filming is to actually get some work done. Um, yes, so yeah, these short days I mean can't you know be up here too late. Um, work next day and everything as well. So I shall uh, see you all soon. I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.